Okay, guys, Warren here from Mad Models 2020. Today's um, video will be a review on the MO um, paint mixer or shaker. Um, I purchased this about a month ago, a month or so ago, and I've um, thoroughly enjoyed it. I started off using uh, with batteries, um, and I noticed that the batteries are not quite as fast as when you plug it into main power, obviously. Um, so I'll just go through a quick review and I'll show you what we've got. So the mixer itself on off um, they come with three rubber stretchy rubber um, straps quite easy to put on you hook it on there put your small bottle in link it up and away you go they even fit your uh, Tamiya size paint Quite good, and that's obviously going on to the last hole where you use this, the 17 mil bottles that goes on to the first hole. So, yeah, should fit also your um, some of the other brand paints that you use. I mainly use uh, the ammo uh, scale 75 and Tamiya. Um, I'm actually I don't use Tamiya as much as I used to, I've now gone more towards the ammo and the. Um, and my scale 75 range um, <clears throat> I find both of these these one, this one here is a very um, opaque and comes out very matte and flat finish and I, and I quite enjoy the, the, the acrylic mixing with these they're, they're just a nice smooth uh, paint to deal with um, Tamiya is a little bit um, for me you, you've got to have a special type of thinners um, this here I, I do use the ammo by Meg thinners but I've also made my own thinners and I might do that in a later video and show you what I do as well as um, a paint, paint cleaner as well um, now this this paint mixer comes with a European plug system so if you're either in New Zealand or Australia you will need to get the adapter just simple adapter and it plugs straight in um, yeah and then definitely um, pumps out a little bit faster um, with power when you um, plug it into the mains which I'll show you in a second so I'll just take my batteries out just a little screw make sure you don't lose your screw because it doesn't lock right in doesn't stay in it takes four double A batteries Now, the other thing is, these come with no, little rubber pads in the feet, and they're actually, it's actually very stable. It doesn't move, unless you're obviously like me and you're forcing it. But when it's sitting there and you've got it plugged in, plugged in with your paint, I always give it a good 30 seconds when I get my first paint when I get the paint for the first time I'll put it in when I use it the first time as well I'll give it a good run so that inside all these and I've put them them in here as well MO by me put a little ball bearing in them a six mil ball bearing I've bought some and I put these in this and I've also put them in my Tamiya ones they don't affect the, the, the glass with the Tamiya ones so give it a good shake, as you can see it goes a lot harder and faster than it does with the batteries and then you can hear it all bearing in there the scale 75 range is a lot thicker um, paint so it does take a little bit more to get that ball bearing moving yeah, um, as I said it comes with a couple of extra rubber covers so definitely the last while I've as I said, this has been used numerous times now, um, especially in the last 
couple of months. Um, I've I am not been sponsored by Ammo or the per, uh, the company I bought this off, um, Hobby City in New Zealand. They've got two branches, one in Auckland and one in Wellington. As I said, I haven't been sponsored to do this. This is off my own back. I paid for this myself, and I thoroughly enjoy it using it. If and it saves a lot of um, shaking with your with your wrists too. If you want to build your own one. Um, and I'll put it in the link below. There is um, a modeler uh, called from Boulder Creek, um, Luke Towen. He yeah from Boulder Creek Railways. And he makes he's got a tutorial on how to make your own paint mixer. I'm just a bit lazy. This is why I decided to buy my own. So yeah, that's that's um, my review for today. Um, I will make my new my next videos um, soon uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet but we'll see see what we do bye for now